Paul Tillich's The Courage to Be delves into the profound and intricate realms of existential philosophy, offering readers a compelling exploration of the human experience in the face of anxiety and the quest for meaning. This seminal work, published in 1952, has left an indelible mark on theological and philosophical discourse. In this review, we will traverse the key themes, strengths, and potential criticisms of Tillich's work, examining its enduring relevance in our understanding of existence. Before we dive in, if you find this content valuable, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. It truly helps us grow. Now, let's get started. The Essence of Courage At the core of Tillich's exploration is the profound concept of courage, the courage to be. He contends that anxiety is an inescapable aspect of human existence, a sentiment that arises from our confrontation with non-being. Tillich's examination of courage transcends the mere absence of fear, it becomes a dynamic force, propelling individuals towards an authentic confrontation with their existential realities. The courage to be, according to Tillich, is not a passive acceptance of fate but an active engagement with the complexities of existence. It is the bold step into the unknown, a journey where one confronts anxiety head-on, embraces the nuances of their existential predicament, and endeavors to unearth meaning within the intricate tapestry of human experience. In essence, the book stands not only as a philosophical guide but as a beacon, illuminating the path for individuals to navigate and transcend the inherent challenges woven into the fabric of human existence. The Three Types of Anxiety Tillich's intricate analysis extends to the categorization of anxiety into three profound types, fate and death, emptiness and meaninglessness, and guilt and condemnation. Each type represents a fundamental facet of the human condition, serving as a mirror reflecting the intricacies of our existential journey. In this philosophical taxonomy, Tillich discerns the threads that weave the fabric of our anxieties, unraveling the existential challenges inherent in our existence. The brilliance of Tillich's framework lies in its ability to transcend mere classification, it becomes a roadmap for the courageous soul. By identifying and understanding these anxiety types, individuals are empowered to confront and ultimately transcend them. This conceptual foundation provides a comprehensive lens through which readers can dissect and comprehend the various dimensions of their existential struggles, guiding them towards a profound self-awareness and, ultimately, the courage to be in the face of life's inherent uncertainties theological depth and secular relevance. Tillich's brilliance shines in his adept navigation between theological depth and secular relevance, marking a notable strength in the courage to be. As a Christian existentialist theologian, Tillich seamlessly intertwines theological concepts with universal human experiences, creating a tapestry that resonates across religious boundaries. This unique fusion allows the book to transcend theological confines, reaching readers of various beliefs and convictions. The seamless integration of theological depth with a language accessible to secular minds is a testament to Tillich's commitment to addressing the universal nature of existential challenges. It is this ability to speak to the human condition beyond religious affiliations that renders the courage to be impactful and relevant to a diverse audience. In an era characterized by pluralism and diverse worldviews, Tillich's work stands as a beacon of wisdom inviting individuals from all walks of life to contemplate the courage to be in the face of the shared human experience. Ontological Ground of Courage In his exploration of courage, Tillich firmly anchors his philosophical voyage in the ontological, asserting that the courage to be finds its roots in the profound recognition of our essential connection to being itself. This ontological foundation serves as a robust underpinning for Tillich's arguments offering readers a coherent and profound framework to comprehend the intricate dynamics of existence. By delving into the very essence of being, Tillich invites readers to embark on a journey of self-discovery that transcends the superficial layers of everyday life. While this ontological depth enriches the philosophical landscape of the courage to be, it also presents a challenge. Some readers may find the intricate philosophical nuances demanding, requiring a careful and attentive reading to fully grasp Tillich's profound ideas. However, the rewards of navigating this depth are immense, as it unveils a transformative perspective on courage, existence, and the interconnected nature of being, the dynamics of faith and ultimate concern. At the heart of Tillich's philosophical tapestry lies the pivotal concept of ultimate concern, a profound notion wherein individuals invest their deepest convictions and unwavering commitments. This concept intricately intersects with Tillich's exploration of faith, 
which he defines as the state of being ultimately concerned. Unlike a narrow interpretation confined to religious domains, Tillich's perspective broadens the scope of faith, encompassing secular pursuits and forming the very backbone of one's orientation toward the ultimate. This expansive view of faith significantly enriches the relevance of the courage to be, as it speaks to the core of human experience, transcending religious boundaries. Whether one's ultimate concern is rooted in the sacred or the secular, Tillich's exploration offers a meaningful framework for navigating life's complexities. In a world marked by diverse beliefs and existential quests, this inclusive approach to faith renders the book universally compelling, resonating with a wide spectrum of readers seeking profound insights into the nature of their deepest commitments and the courage required to uphold them. Criticisms and Challenges Despite its status as a seminal work, the courage to be is not impervious to critique. A significant challenge lies in Tillich's use of dense and abstract language, demanding a considerable intellectual effort from readers to fully grasp the nuanced complexities of his arguments. This stylistic choice, while enhancing the depth of his exploration, may create barriers for those seeking a more accessible philosophical discourse. Moreover, the theological underpinnings embedded in Tillich's work may prove challenging for readers approaching the book from a secular standpoint. The intricate interweaving of theological concepts might limit the universal appeal of the text, potentially excluding those who do not share Tillich's religious background. While the book offers profound insights into the human condition, these challenges underscore the necessity for a thoughtful and patient engagement, acknowledging that its depth may require an extra layer of commitment from readers seeking to extract the full richness of Tillich's philosophical tapestry, existentialism and human agency. Tillich's exploration of courage aligns with existentialist themes that emphasize human agency and responsibility. The book invites readers to confront the existential challenges not as passive victims but as active participants in shaping their own existence. This existential call to action adds a pragmatic dimension to Tillich's philosophy, encouraging readers to engage with their anxieties and cultivate the courage to transcend them. Relevance in the Contemporary Landscape Despite being written in the mid-20th century, the courage to be maintains its relevance in the contemporary philosophical landscape. In an era marked by rapid societal changes, technological advancements, and global challenges, Tillich's insights into the human condition resonate with individuals navigating the complexities of the 21st century. The book serves as a timeless guide for those seeking meaning and courage in the face of a rapidly evolving world.